What's up guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm working on 2020 Mustang GT. So, I'm doing some performance upgrade and in this video, I'm installing some wheel spacers. On this Mustang, factory wheel seats a little bit inside the fender. Same thing in the rear. And also we have a little bit smaller footprint. So, by installing a wheel spacer, we are going to get a wheel flush with the fender on the rear and the front. And also we are going to get a little bit wide footprint that way on the road during corners we can have better performance. So as you can see the factory wheel right here it's a little bit inside from the fender. It's not actually flush. And also same thing for the rear wheel. It's a little bit inside not flush with the wheel. So for the wheel spacer, I have bought KSP Performance wheel spacers. They are aluminum forged wheel spacers, really lightweight. And I have read some uh, online reviews. I did my research and everything before I can install on my Mustang. I don't want to just install any cheap uh, wheel spacer and it fail on the road. So there are lots of reviews online. It's a good quality. Lots of Mustang owners are using this one. So, I'm going to install this on my Mustang and it's a 25mm wheel spacer. It's perfect to fill that gap between fender and the wheel. So, let me show you. This is the wheel spacer. It's a black. It's a lightweight, it's not heavy and it's a hub centric which is better so to install the wheel spacer basically we have to remove the wheel so i'm going to lift the car up i am going to use the quick jack that way i'm going to lift the whole car and then we're going to start installing the wheel spacer So now our car is on the quick jack, so it's up in the air, we can remove the wheel. So to remove the lug nut, we have to use 21mm socket. I'm going to use the impact gun which will be faster compared to using the breaker bar. Plus to use the breaker bar, you have to use brakes or you have to leave the car on the ground. This can remove the lug nut without brakes. So to install the wheel spacer, I'm just going to clean the wheel hub a little bit. There's a small amount of rust, there's, it's not much, but to make it perfectly flush, I'm going to make sure it's clean and then we're going to install this. To install this wheel spacer, it comes with a bolt and it's mounted on its own lug. And it's more than hand tight, so I'm just going to use 19mm socket. Yeah, it's more than hand tight, so just use the gun. There you go.
when you install this you want to make sure it's flush with the rotor on the all side just rotate it make it sure it's flush you don't want it a little bit up and down that's not good because it's not properly mounted and it your wheel might come off it can break so make sure it's flush behind and then I'm going to use the provided nut I'm going to install those and then I'm go not going to use the impact gun I'm going to use torque wrench to torque with the factory amount which is 150 foot pounds I'm not using this to tight the bolt, I'm just using it to drive it to the all the way to the end, but not using full power. Now I'm going to use the torque wrench and torque all of the lug nuts at 150 foot pound that's the factory specs for the factory lugs so to torque this with loose wheel it's not going to work but we got hefty brembo brakes here so i'm going to apply some brake someone going to hold the brake and then i can torque each bolt So guys, finally our wheel spacer is installed. Our factory lug is a little bit longer than the surface of the wheel spacer. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use measuring tape and go to measure how many mm it's longer than the surface. It's like uh, three mm longer around. And on this factory PP1 package wheels, there are some notches here on the wheel. So that's perfect for those lug nuts. And the notch is way longer, bigger than the leftover lug. So we can put this wheel on the wheel spacer. If that space was smaller or if you don't have that notch, don't even try to use the wheel spacer. That's most dangerous thing because it can damage your wheel, it can damage your suspension. It, your wheel can fall off during on the road when you are driving, anything can happen. So you want to make sure your wheel going to get flushed with the wheel spacer. If it don't get flushed, don't use it. So I'm going to install this wheel and let's see how it looks on the front. So guys, wheel is installed. It's not torque yet because again, I have to use the brake and then I can torque it or I can tie it a little bit with the impact gun. Not 100%, I'm not going to use full power. And then once I lower the car, I'm not going to put all the weight on the wheels. Once it's going to touch the ground and it got a little bit weight, I'm going to use the torque wrench and going to torque it with the specs of the wheel spacer. But before I did that, I made sure with the flashlight that our wheel is flush with the wheel spacer. Also, I use my finger and try to 
check inside to make sure there is no gap between wheel and the wheel spacer on the all around. You want to do that to make sure you are safe on the road. So let's go on the other wheels, install all the wheel spacer and then I'm going to lower the car. So guys, our wheel spacer are fully installed and now our wheel are flush with the fender which looks really better than what it was before from the factory and let's take car outside, see how it looks, go for a ride, see how it feels and we will end video there. So guys, that's all gonna be for this video. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to watch more video like this, please hit the subscribe and bell icon. That way you don't miss out my new videos. See you next time.